Hello one and all, this is Luckless Lovelocks. Welcome back to Small Radio's Big Televisions. We're in a new room area. I don't know, I don't know what to call it. Uh but it looks like we've got a another stereo here. Um two buttons to click. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. What were they built for anyway? They never actually told me. Optimism, I guess. To give people a sense that things could get better. Somehow everything could be normal again one day. I guess they didn't convince you. It was empty. There wasn't a person in sight. Whatever they were trying to do, they gave up fast. So they were trying to... Something, something, air? What is that? Supposedly filter the air, the water. Anything they could do to keep the population from plummeting. The worst part is, I think the people working there believed it was possible. I mean, why else would you spend your life in a place like that? Maybe they just wanted to find purpose, to feel like they were con contributing. Just, I just think they found something that was more compelling. I didn't, I didn't know there was, uh, like, like uh, dialogue or text in this game. That's cool. So, um, maybe the world, the human species is in decline. Some disaster happened. Something happened to the water, the air. They built these machines that seem to have, seem to be sentient, and uh, there's no people left. Aside from us, it seems. Space to continue. I think I can... Yeah. Looks like we need another lens. From somewhere. Yeah, see, this this uh, factory fits in with the other one, just like that uh, painting that we saw earlier. All right, let's go right first. We're like in the clouds now. Looks like, uh, kind of like, tape running through some spools. I think if I can click on anything else. Doesn't look like it. Let's take a look at the map here. The triangular structure. Tree. Uh, we don't have the tapes yet. Do we have, um... Okay, so we don't have any tapes for this factory. I don't know, I don't know what to call these things. Let's try going through here. Whoa. with the map again it's kind of hard to like connect this map with the doors that we're moving through conceptually well sorry conceptually I understand it but like it's hard for me to map what I'm seeing on the screen to that map I said map twice okay so We need some way to power this also. Obviously we need to find something. Let's, so let me just take a look here. We came in through 
this door. So is that, that's here. And I assume that door is here. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's a bit strange. It, whoa. Let's see, the puzzles are getting a bit more complicated now. There we go. I can go through the door. Oh, I see. That unlocked that one. So if I now drag this across. Can I move any of these other ones? We need to somehow connect this. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Something like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we did it. Oh! Oh, that, that did it. That did it. Didn't, didn't have to stay there. I kind of want it to. It's the mouse is like super sensitive. <laughs> okay, whatever. We got the tape. What is this? Fire? Couldn't really read it. Field. Very nice. Oh, there's more of like, um, more of a wide angle of view for this world. So are we looking at, I imagine we're looking at these worlds before and after the disaster that occurred to Earth or whatever, where this world is. This would be before, right? Oh, what's that? It's a bird. It looked huge. Huh. Okay, I don't see... I don't see a power source or anything else. Here it is again. Oh, there's more. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not able to interact with anything either, it appears. So let's go out. Oops. Spacebar. That's the first one for here. Take a look at our map. See, I was wrong. Okay. Yeah, it's really hard to distinguish between the, the map and the rooms. Because all the doors are on the same side. So kind of hard to tell which one you're going through. Need a crystal for here. Oh, I see. The line means that, so this door here somehow connects to, to the that side. I get it now. Let's go back first. There's a, there's a door to go through in a previous room. This one here. Rewind, unwind. Okay. Does that do anything in the in the previous room? Ah, uh, I get it. So that was taking up some of the power that this needed, I guess. Okay, let's see where this goes. 
Keep this area clear. Oh, here we go. Looks like they did a good job of that. <laughs> they stacked everything on this side of the room. Arboretum. Nice. This reminds me of uh, Abduction. And The Witness to a certain degree. It's a lot more chill than the uh, some of the other places. Uh, yeah, cool. So there's some rocks over here. Don't see any uh, any power sources. This this world's very relaxing. Let's go back. One more. We need one more tape to sh to shred up those worlds. So um, it's so funny. All the boxes are stacked up there. Uh, to get back, is there any other rooms that we missed? Oh, we can already do it. Oh, man. Okay, let's try the field first. I thought we needed three. are still here. I don't see any uh, crystals. This is pretty trippy though. Okay. I don't see anything. Looking around pretty carefully. Let's check out the Arboretum. Uh, I'm not looking forward to seeing what, what's happened to that world. I, well, I kind of am, but I'm kind of, kind of not at the same time, if you know what I mean. I haven't been looking at those numbers. There's one. Kind of beautiful in a desolate way. We've got our uh, crystal. Already click on that. There we go. Now, wasn't there a s place where I could put that? We haven't gone through this door. Okay, let's check that out. There's one. We, oh, I remember. Okay, so this has gone around in kind of like a circle. And it looks like there's one door we haven't explored yet. And that... Uh... Oh, okay. So this is going to take us to the other side when we open that door. So let's go back to here. Check out this last spot before we go to the other side. The question is like, how do I get there? So I think we came in through there. I guess I could just go out and in through that door. 
So, I, so while I'm here, since it'll take me time to try to figure out how to get back, let's just pop this in and go to the other side and unlock it. I can always just like rotate the structure to get back. the this is this this is the side we started on and we went through this door so let's go through here it's a weird sound caution fall through here uh oh oh no uh this doesn't look good let's try Oh, it's just back here. Okay, my bad. So what happens if, um, if I do that now? I'm curious. This is this stays unlocked. This change? No, it's the same. Okay, let's go back out. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. This has uh, become even more intriguing of a game to me after witnessing that uh, that dialogue. I wonder where it's going to go. Maybe there's like an environmental message here. I'm kind of getting that impression. All these factories uh, that whoever populated this world, I assume it's the humans, seem to be gone. Um, tried Built all these things to try to purify the world after maybe some disaster so i'm intrigued i'm intrigued let me know what you think this is lux lovelock signing off for now and i love you all <laughs>